Hi there, I'm Jordan Scott, realtor, wannabe do-gooder, and self-appointed public safety czar dedicated to saving lives from destructive driving by exposing all brands of distraction. Not bad, right? I mean, it could be worse. I could just be another well-off jerk who doesn't do anything for anybody, right? You can read more about my effort to build a national safety movement at DestructiveDriving.com. I've rebranded Distracted Driving as Destructive Driving because lost lives and broken hearts are the real consequences of distraction. Today, I'm taking on the talk radio industrial complex. Call-in sports and talk radio is an industry that profits from unsafe callers calling from the car while driving dangerous roads with no regard for public safety. Why is there no decency in radio land regarding moral and safe business practices? Why isn't sports talk or road rage radio mandated that calls should not come from drivers in motion? Sports fans want to hear other sports fans. Program directors want them to get on, keep them calling, keep them coming back. I can just imagine red-faced program directors screaming, If we don't get these callers on the air, we can start looking for new work. The highly rated morning and afternoon drive call-in shows with well-known drive time personalities know that the regular callers are the real stars. Frank from Staten Island, Tom from Tom's River. Without callers, there is no sports or talk radio. For these special VIP callers, can the barrier of entry be any easier? It can't take 10 minutes for Gus from Syosset to get on and complain about the last second blown field goal or the latest signing of an overpriced free agent. Fans ultimately do not care what air hosts have to say. They don't care about the round of golf they played with some lame comedian or where they had dinner last night. They want to hear Pete from Fort Lee somewhere in the New Jersey Turnpike on his way home from the game with the kids in the back. The industry is hungry for more regular callers. They are the brand of recycle, being used and reused, endlessly repeating the themes of the day. 45% of talk show listeners listen to their radios while in the car, and radio stations have known all about this. The shows are even named The Fan. Over 47 stations in 200 markets are all named The Fan. And do you know why all the stations are called The Fan? Because The Fan is who they serve. And who is The Fan? We are. Who are the real stars of the radio program? We are. The FCC must be closeted fans and listeners because for some unknown reason, <clears throat> the bottom line, <clears throat> they don't seem to care about this issue because sports talk radio stations have never gotten the memo. These radio programs that continue to have no regard for public safety should be suspended. It's simple to identify callers and cars by hearing the crappy on-air connection. I would hope that people other than me are hearing this and are against it too. The thing is, they want the combative callers because there is nothing more entertaining to the listeners than hosts and callers who disagree. Sorry for those other drivers and pedestrians on the road once Frank is humiliated while driving in dangerous stop-and-go traffic on 50,000 watts. It doesn't make a difference if Frank is wearing Bluetooth or driving hands-free. Distraction is distraction. Destruction is destruction. I used to be a regular caller from a landline, perfect phone reception and connection. Then program directors began to see a transition to increased cell phone usage. They know that callers are calling in from cars, and yet they refuse to adjust to the times we are living in. Special time should be designated to educating listeners on the safe way to call into radio shows. Cigarettes and alcohol have warning labels. Why shouldn't radio stations be forced to use a portion of the ad revenue to educate the public about destructive driving? Let's create a new normal of better community and business practices. It is an epic failure that talk show hosts rarely, if ever, remind listeners and callers to remain safe and accountable when riding the airwaves of this multi-billion dollar industry. No legacy honor should be granted to any host who takes part in this destructive radio talk show industry. No one from the radio call-in industrial complex should be patting themselves on the back. Instead, talk show hosts should actively spread a new message about safety and create a legitimate good vibe environment for calling into radio stations. Without regular callers, there is no sports radio. They want more Frank on the car phone, and they want Frank on fast. Even if Frank being on air endangers his own life, the lives of the other passengers, other drivers, and pedestrians around him. I'm Jordan Scott, asking you to pay attention to the road and arrive safely at your destination.